You guys, hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Look at that, Corey's got the new shirt on. Uh, today we are headed to a Ukrainian spot to get a couple different things off their menu. Very excited. We've never had Ukrainian food like on the show from a Ukrainian restaurant, so very pumped. Yeah, also guys, our new merch is live this week to everyone. Go over to number six with cheese.com and snag it. It's our spring 2022 collection, and there's some really awesome stuff on there. Grab them while you can. All right, let's go drive there and feast. In that bag, two different entrees from Trizub Ukrainian Kitchen, acquired jump cut. Alrighty, Corey will show you what he ordered and then I will do so after. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, it's a simple one, ladies and gentlemen. We just got some traditional schnitzel fried up breaded deliciousness. Also came with some yellow sauce and some red sauce. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> I would assume one of them's mustard, but we'll see. And then I got Varanagi. Pierogies. Varanagi. <laughs> uh, I got pierogies, and um, these are potato and cheese. I love pierogies. Oh, they're like not fried. They're boiled. Like boiled. <laughs> yeah. Get Some real Eastern Bloc here. Real Eastern Bloc. Um, they just smell and look a lot like boiled pierogies. But it uh, looks like I probably got some sour cream, maybe an apple. Sometimes it's coming with like applesauce and stuff, but there we go. That's what I ordered. I felt like I had to. Okay guys, and before we get into this, I wanted to let you guys know. So you guys all know what's going on in Ukraine. I'm sure you've seen the news. We wanted to do whatever we can to help. We can't do much, but what we can do is donate all of the proceeds from this video to an organization, to a charity to help the people in Ukraine who are suffering right now. So that's what we're gonna do. Anything that we earn off of this video from YouTube AdSense is going straight to a charity. Uh, we went to a, a website called charitywatch.org, which rates different charities to try to make sure that we're sending the money to a place that best utilizes it. And so on there, um, I searched for uh, Ukrainian charity like organizations and I found care.org, which uh, has a great rating. So that's where we're gonna be sending all the money. If you guys wanna help out, do what you can. I tried to get a hold of uh, care.org to set up like a link, but they couldn't do it because I didn't know if we could raise uh, their minimum amount of the five grand um, so but just go in care.org and donate if you if you can or want to help um, it's a great website do your own research to figure out the best websites the best charities but I used charitywatch.org and I don't know why not trust absolutely them. I don't know yeah and we'll like you said I mean the money comes in from Google AdSense we'll take that and we'll, we'll send it in the right direction let's get to the food all right Ukrainian food cheers, cheers. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's dang good schnitzel right there. The breading looks fantastic. Being that I'm a German man, I know me some schnitzel. You do. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, that looks so good. Yeah, so this restaurant is like a Ukrainian, it's like a new aged approach to Ukrainian food. Yeah, It's like man. an American Ukrainian fusion, I guess. They had some crazy stuff on that menu. I wanted to try a bunch of stuff, but. All right, there's mustard here, 100% right. Yeah, I mean, look at that, it's bright. Yeah, this is yeah. a. Talk about highlighter yellow, that's... Look at that. How oh, bright that <laughs> mustard is. It's a bright mustard. And we said that about Ukraine. They have the brightest mustard. A lot of people mustard. don't realize that. It's its whole tab on Wikipedia. How's the rogues? So good. Uh, rogues are great. Sour cream and pierogies. Um, I grew up and my grandma would make pierogies all the time. So this was a very like common staple in my household. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think that red sauce is? I'm very interested to try this on a schnitzel. I can't wait. Is it sweet? Oh, but it tastes good. I think it more of it tells it's sweet or not. I got overpowered by the schnitzel. Bright purple and pinkish. I have no clue what it is, but it's okay. I like Sometimes that's better. fun. You just have no clue. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Figure this it schnitzel out. is fire though. I'd like to throw this on a sandwich. Man, I love schnitzel so much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, caramelized onions. Oh wow. Made myself like a little nacho. <laughs> Bro, I think I'm about to just do a pick and dip. I dude, I'm not gonna judge you. Here's what I did, guys. I put the uh like tomatoes and like dill and caramelized onions and what is that, feta? I put it on my Whoa. pierogies and I'm gonna kinda eat it like this now. 
Bro, schnitzel is fire. I know. When I did the all those black forest hikes in Germany, mm -hmm. every town I stopped in, I'd get schnitzel for dinner. Mm -hmm. just, like normally, you know me, I like to try new stuff and all that stuff, but I was just on a tear of like finding out which place had the best schnitzel. And I was like keeping a log. <laughs> There's, dude, I love it so much. I had no idea what Ukrainian food was. Like basically just Polish and German food. Yeah, very, yeah, it's kind of like a hybrid of those two. Mm, 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 mm. I love pierogies. It's so good. Mm -hmm. My grandma would make kielbasa, sauerkraut, pierogies, and you'd have this big old plate of it, and it was just the most comfort meal of all time. I just loved it. So this is like bringing me back some good memories of my grandma. Wow. I mean, you bread anything up and fry it. I know. Now what I don't get though, they're frying up their pork, but they're not frying up their pierogies? Yeah, I wonder if like, Ukrainian pierogies are traditionally just boiled. Like, I, I, there wasn't even an option for grilled. Yeah, but I wonder why. I don't know. It you is know about the frying. It is interesting. You got the schnitzel, you figured out the frying. Yeah. Apply it to other meals, guys. Maybe this is a healthy meal. They well, consider this, mm. they consider these potato and cheese pierogies like a waist yeah. cinching meal as I just dunk this in sour cream like it's salsa. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. This is filling. These are so good. I'm about to tap out. Oh, maybe. well, maybe not. <laughs> he saw the Sixer Sauce. He saw the Sixer Sauce. I'll have one more bite. I don't know if I've ever had Sixer Sauce on boiled pierogies. I've had it on Mrs. T's pierogies, stuff with the stuff you love. Stop singing! I've never had it on schnitzel, I'll tell you that. We need to make a Sixer Sauce in a smaller than three ounce bottle so that I can fly with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can take it to Germany. And not have to smuggle it in my shampoo bottles. Oh, spicy. Last time we had schnitzel on the show, do you remember? Ooh, good question. Um, this isn't really schnitzel, but basically is. The only thing I can think of that is even close would be like a breaded pork tenderloin in Indianapolis. That's right. That's Damn. exactly what I was thinking. Awesome. Is it, what's the difference between schnitzel and breaded pork tenderloin? Is it just the country you're in? I, I truly don't know. Like, isn't this just pork tenderloin that's breaded? I mean, it seems like it. Like some questions we need yeah I don't I don't control. have the culinary background to know that information so I don't want to get myself in a dicey situation and start talking. Dude, mm -hmm. I want to send some bottles of this to the Ukraine. That yeah. really makes those pierogies better. Sean's doing what he can for the war effort, baby. I'll send three bottles of hotter sixer sauce to Ukraine. I mean, in all seriousness though, like how much of a bummer of everything going on over there? Like it truly makes being able to like sit in a car and and just do this as a job makes me really appreciative of my life. Like, yeah, I feel like you're being serious, but I am. it's really hard for me to take you seriously because I'm thinking of someone who's in a war-torn country and he's like, oh, a white guy said it's a bummer for us. I feel better now. No, I'm more striving <laughs> a war is a bummer. Well, like imagine saying that about v like Vietnam. Yeah, well, dude, <laughs> that Vietnam thing to us, total bummer, dude. dude. Just kind of a bumpski. Such a bummer, man. Don't you know what I mean? <laughs> I do, but it's hard. The for me. absolutely rip roaring horridness that is what they're going through, mm -hmm. and I have the most privileged life. I just want people to know that I understand that and appreciate my life. We're literally doing the least we can do. We're eating on camera. Back to you. The least we could do is nothing. We're barely doing more than the least we could do. You know what? That's something. We don't have much to give. We're not making the world worse. Yeah, it's true. Unless you, some of our content's pretty bad. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In yesterday's video, though, weren't you saying that you are pro <laughs> panda? Well, Winnie, you're pro poo, pro Winnie the Pooh. I'm not pro Winnie the Pooh. And then you're I'm also not pro, pro Vladimir Putin. Okay. I and I'm, I no, you don't. At. And I, and Hong Kong. You know what? Stop it. I don't like. You're making me say proper <laughs> nouns, and I don't, I don't like. That. I don't like when you make me say proper <laughs> nouns. I get all nervous. I thought that guy was gonna get in this car. That would've been awesome. I do got some, uh, I, I got some new vlogs out if you want some more chipper stuff in your life. Uh, <laughs> I went around and hunted out like free stuff to do around Chicago and then I also did another one where I hunted out all the best donut, which that one was a delicious and fun episode. The free stuff was better. Did you know that the Harold Washington Library is the largest library in the world? Yes. I didn't know that. I knew that because when I heard it, I said, no it's not, and then I looked it up and it was. Also, the, the dome, the glass dome uh -huh. in the Chicago Cultural Center mm -hmm. is the third biggest Tiffany dome in the world. I didn't know that. I didn't know, I had, had no idea it was even Tiffany glass up there. I mean, I thought it was beautiful before. Either way, I, I thought it was I would have thought cool. it would have been Libby glass. That's a, Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> glass City, baby. Sorry, I was pandering. <laughs> and it worked. But anywho, check them out if you want. If not, I don't care. I'd rather you go give money to, to Ukraine. Then watch your vlogs. You're, yeah, <laughs> it's between those two. Mm -hmm. Screw my vlogs. I'll take the other side then. I would rather more people go watch your vlogs. Because you're putting me in this controversial Cause situation. Yeah, because you're, you, you, you're a big fan of Winnie the Pooh. You, and... Stop it. Stop it. 
Vladimir is a terrible first name. <laughs> All right. Um, Unless it, like Vladimir, somebody played like Ford for the Red Wings, though. Remember, like yeah, I was there trying was a to lot think of really like, good Red Wings. Fedorov's first name, you Sergey. Know? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, I don't even know how to rate those pierogies because I don't think I've had boiled pierogies in like ten years. But I'll try. Um, out of five, who did you say your favorite Russian general was before we started filming? Ukrainian. My favorite is. Uh, of uh, Klitschko, good Klitschko, save, good save. Klitschko. Good save. <laughs> Klitschko. I, I do know. Well, that's my favorite Ukrainian mayor. My oh, favorite guy. Okay. Can we do him? It's your video. What do you want to do? Klitschko, bro. So out of five Klitschko bros. Well, he. I'm a Klitschko. I'm a Klitschko bro. Fans. Okay. Out of Klitsch five Klitschkos. Do you know who he is? Do you know who I'm talking about? Do you have any clue? I only know the main, um, like the president of the Ukraine that used to be an actor. <laughs> Oh yeah, bro. By the way, we were just talking about Vladimir. It's the best Vladimir. Vladimir killed Klitschko, bro. Oh, his heavyweight wow. champion, world champion. Okay. Finding it increasingly difficult to find Vladimir Klitschko. Oh, the left hook wobbles Peter. Do you remember these guys? They were the two brothers. Oh, that was him. He's a mayor in Ukraine now, and he's out there like fighting and like. Dude, I gotta start reading the news. He's the real deal, Holyfield, <laughs> baby. Out no one would guess between the two of us. The idiot who says weird dick things and the <laughs> knows journalist. More about <laughs> yeah, I would be the one who no, knows more about weird I was news. a sports journalist. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even but know what's going on in Hong Kong, let alone I, Dude, is that a city in Indianapolis, Indiana? I don't even know. Uh, out of five, Vladimir Klitschko's, right? Klitschko, you... How many f Vladimir Klitschko's do you give the uh, pork schnitzel that you had today uh, from this amazing Ukrainian kitchen. That was excellent schnitzel. That was fantastic. Um, I don't know about boiled pierogies because I like everything fried. If this was just boiled pork, I feel like I'd be giving it a different score. I think probably. I, hit, I think I hit the jackpot in between the two of us. <laughs> yeah. Which is a rare occasion. Normally, for me. I win, 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 and all the food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you. Um, instead of getting boiled pork, I got the fried up one, which was absolutely amazing. It was delicious. It's the best um, schnitzel I've had since being in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna give it a four point five. That's great. I don't have a lot of. I have to leave some gap room because I don't have a lot of schnitzel knowledge no, in the I, U.S. Yeah. Or really, I, I mean, I had it in Germany, obviously, but yeah, I don't have enough knowledge to give it a five. So maybe that was a five. Maybe it was a two. We'll only time will tell, guys. Whatever I like. I gave no information. Also, but I always say this too: like, it's so easy to start your own YouTube channel. Like, yeah, did. go yeah. do it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, truly, I don't know how to score these. I might not score those. That's respectable. Because what am I comparing it to? Yeah, the no, last time I had boiled pierogies, I was never. 11. You've had them boiled before? My grandma would boil them. Oh, well then you gotta give it a good score out of respect for your grandma. You don't love her? For, of course I do. But I <laughs> like was 11. I turned, it, I turned it into you not loving your grandma. <laughs> why, why do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were really good. Like, they were so much potato and cheese in them. Yep. There was like 10 of them. They were massive. Yep. So it was basically about a dollar a pierogi. Right. I don't know what prices are. What, what am I even talking about? I'll shut up. Um, they were just really good. I'm just gonna, I'm not comparing it to anything. I'm just, if you were like, out of five, like what would you give it just on like oh, like a score if you were like with your out with your parents, you're like, oh, what do you score that? We like? can grade right now, feel comfortable grading on the Ukraine curve. This place is going through a goddamn war. <laughs> right. I feel like we're allowed to grade on a little bit of a curve. Thank and you. And if you guys don't like it, suck it, bro. Yeah. Suck it. Yeah. 4.1. There we go. Baby. I don't know. I, I truly though, like we ordered inside there, looked at the menu, got to sit down for a while. Place is cool. Got to check out the whole place and like kind of see how it ran and genuinely think that they've got a good operation. Yeah, they there. do. I uh, I wish them nothing but success. Yeah, sorry about this episode. This is a weird one to try to balance two Comedy. goofballs <laughs> who literally try to be a break in people's days right. from things and try to we try actively to not be political. Uh, but you know, we just thought this was a great thing to do. We're trying to yeah, be, we're, we're trying to be the best people we can, so. Care.org, it's gonna get some gonna get some funds. Hope you don't think we're too goofy. We do think you I mean I'm glad serious. you called out that we're trying to toe the line. Yeah. We understand it's a dicey thing to do. Yeah. Anyhow. We're dicey cats. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow uh, for a brand new video. Tomorrow, we're headed to a uh, pizza spot here in Chicago that does both stuffed and thin crust pizzas. It's supposed to be very good, so come on back for that, and we look forward to seeing you. And don't forget tonight, if anybody is possibly still watching this, we do have our Patreon Zoom call tonight. Yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, you can you can hang out with us and yeah. talk about this episode specifically. Yeah, it'd be sick. <laughs> um, all right, guys, we, we love you, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Goodbye.